What are the most powerful defense systems in the Danish Armed Forces? In this video, we'll break them down one by one, uncovering the cutting-edge weapons already in service and those still under negotiation, all in a complete countdown ranking. This list focuses only on artillery, air defense systems, radars, and missile systems. But if you're interested in the rankings of ground vehicles, aircraft, and warships, you can find them on our channel. But for now, let's start the countdown. Number 10. Thompson CSFRAC-3D This radar system, originally developed in France and now operated by the Danish Armed Forces, represents one of the cornerstones of modern battlefield awareness. Introduced in 1993, the RAC-3D is a mobile air surveillance radar designed to provide reliable detection and tracking of aerial targets. With a length of 10 meters, a width of 2.5 meters, and a height of 4.5 meters, it is a sizable system mounted on a mobile platform. Its mass reaches 26 tons, giving it both stability and presence in the field. The radar can track threats up to 100 kilometers away, giving commanders a vital early warning capability. This range makes it highly effective in monitoring low to medium altitude aircraft and helicopters, as well as providing air defense units with precise target information. Number nine. Indra Sistemas PSR-2D Spain's Indra Sistemas is the producer of this modern primary surveillance radar, and Denmark has integrated it into its defensive structure to extend its radar coverage. Unlike advanced three-dimensional radars, this system provides high-quality two-dimensional tracking with a maximum firing range of 185 kilometers. While it does not deliver altitude information, it is extremely effective at long-range detection of aircraft which is vital for air traffic control, air defense, and monitoring of national airspace. Its main strength lies in persistence and wide coverage, allowing Danish operators to maintain a constant eye on what is happening above and beyond their borders. The PSR-2D is especially useful in coastal defense scenarios, as Denmark's geography requires extended reach over maritime approaches. This radar helps coordinate both civilian and military operations, blending defensive needs with national security. Number 8. Leonardo Selex RAT 31DL The RAT 31DL is one of the most advanced long-range air defense radars in service today, produced by the Italian company Leonardo and introduced into Danish service in 2012. This system provides full three-dimensional coverage, tracking altitude, speed, and position of aerial targets with extraordinary precision. Its maximum firing range of 500 kilometers makes it a true strategic asset, allowing Denmark to monitor vast airspace far beyond its national borders. The RAT 31DL is built to integrate seamlessly into NATO's air defense network, providing interoperability and resilience against modern threats, such as ballistic missiles, stealth aircraft, and cruise missiles. Its advanced electronic counter-countermeasures allow it to operate effectively even under heavy jamming or electronic warfare attempts. Number 7. TPS-77 Built by the American defense giant Lockheed Martin, the TPS-77 entered service in 2004 as a highly mobile and reliable long-range radar system. Denmark employs this radar to complement its layered air defense network, Taking advantage of its 470-kilometer detection range, the TPS-77 is well known for its ability to operate in harsh environments while consuming relatively low energy compared to similar systems. Its design focuses on flexibility, allowing it to be rapidly deployed, relocated, and integrated with allied command systems. For the Danish Armed Forces, this capability means enhanced adaptability, as the radar can be positioned according to operational needs whether on the mainland or near coastal defense zones. Priced at around $22 million per unit, it represents a significant investment in defense, but one that ensures unmatched reliability and endurance. Number 6. GMBH, a 3MS Cardam. The Cardam is a modern self-propelled mortar system developed by Israel's Soltam Systems, introduced in 2003 and adopted by Denmark to enhance its indirect fire capabilities. Operated by a crew of two to four soldiers, the Cardam employs a 120-millimeter caliber mortar 
capable of firing up to 16 rounds per minute. Its maximum firing range is 8 kilometers, making it a deadly yet mobile system for close to medium range support. Mounted on an armored vehicle platform, the A3MS Kardom provides the Danish Army with high mobility and rapid deployment on the battlefield. It uses advanced fire control computers and navigation systems to deliver accurate strikes, even in dynamic combat situations. For Denmark, a country focused on NATO expeditionary operations, having such a system means greater flexibility and powerful organic firepower. Number 5. PULS The Precise and Universal Launching System, or PULS, is Israel's latest generation multiple launch rocket system, produced by Elbit Systems and introduced in 2023. Denmark has recently acquired units of this powerful system, with a maximum firing range of 300 kilometers, using its Acular 122mm rockets. While currently only two units are in service, this represents a groundbreaking step in enhancing Denmark's long-range strike capabilities. The PULS is highly modular, capable of firing different rocket calibers and guided munitions, making it adaptable to various missions. It offers both area saturation fire and precision strike, allowing commanders to shape the battlefield with devastating firepower. With a contract value of $133 million, this system shows Denmark's commitment to modernizing its artillery forces. In a regional context, Pulse gives Denmark a deterrent capability, ensuring that any aggressor would face precision strikes deep within their territory. Number 4. Atmos 2008x8 The Atmos 2000 is a highly mobile self-propelled howitzer system developed by Elbit Systems in Israel and introduced in 2001. Denmark has adopted the 8x8 variant to strengthen its artillery firepower. Operated by a crew of four soldiers, this system fires 155mm extended range full-bore base bleed shells, reaching targets at a maximum distance of 41 kilometers. Its rate of fire varies between 4 and 9 rounds per minute, giving it both sustained fire capability and the ability to deliver rapid strikes. With 19 units currently in service, Denmark has a robust and flexible artillery formation capable of supporting ground forces in both defensive and offensive operations. Mounted on a wheeled 8x8 chassis, the Atmos offers excellent mobility and can deploy quickly across Denmark's varied terrain. Number 3. VLMICA The Vertical Launch MICA is a surface-to-air missile system developed by the French company MBDA and introduced in 2010 operates four of these systems, with a total contract value of $208 million to secure its airspace against modern aerial threats. The VL Mika uses the highly versatile Mika missile with a mass of 110 kilograms and a muzzle velocity of 1,361 meters per second. It has a maximum firing range of 80 kilometers, giving it the ability to engage aircraft, helicopters, and incoming missiles at significant distance. The system can be integrated with radar networks to create a layered air defense shield, protecting key strategic sites and military assets. For Denmark, the VLMICA offers a highly mobile and modular option, capable of adapting to different deployment scenarios. Number 2. IRISTSLM the IRIST surface launched medium-range system, developed by Germany's Deal Defense, entered service in 2014 and represents a new standard in modern air defense. With a maximum firing range of 40 kilometers, it may not have the reach of strategic systems, but it excels in accuracy, reaction time, and reliability. Denmark's adoption of the IRIS TSLM strengthens its medium-range air defense layer providing protection against aircraft, drones, and precision-guided munitions. The system is based on the proven IRIS-T air-to-air missile, modified for surface launch, which is known for its extreme maneuverability and infrared guidance. This makes it highly effective against agile targets, even under heavy countermeasures. For Denmark, the IRIS-T SLM offers a perfect balance between mobility and firepower, ensuring that its forces remain protected in dynamic combat environments. 
Number 1. NASAMS The Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, or NASAMS, is perhaps the most famous and widely used air defense platform in NATO, produced by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace of Norway. Denmark integrated NASAMS into its defense network after its introduction in 1998, giving the nation a reliable and flexible medium-range air defense system. NASAMS employs the AIM-120 AMRAAM missile, with a maximum firing range of 40 kilometers, capable of engaging aircraft, drones, and cruise missiles with pinpoint accuracy. What makes NASAMS truly valuable is its modularity and interoperability. It can be deployed in various configurations, scaled to protect specific assets or large areas, and easily integrated with allied radar and command systems. It has proven itself in combat with other nations, gaining a reputation as one of the most dependable systems in modern warfare. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 best defense systems in the Danish Defense Force. Which of these machines really impressed you? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like these.